Lesson nine. Hello, boys and girls. This is Aunt Fernita, and I have a wonderful story for you, called the Never Ending Oil. Today's memory verse is from Second Kings, chapter four, verse two. It says, "Elisha replied, 'How can I help you?'" The message for today's story is God's people care for one another. Has your family ever asked to borrow something from a neighbor? Maybe some flour or sugar, or perhaps a garden tool. A poor widow once borrowed some unusual things from her neighbors. The poor widow came to Elisha with tear stains on her face. My husband was a good man who loved the Lord, but now he is dead. She said, "The man my husband owed money to says if I don't pay him, he will take away my two sons to be his slaves." How can I help you? Elisha asked gently. Tell me, what do you have in your house? Nothing, the widow answered. I have nothing except for a little oil. Elisha thought about her need. Go to all your friends and neighbors, he said, and borrow as many jars as you can. Then go home and shut the door. Pour the oil from your jar into all the empty borrowed jars. So the widow and her sons filled their house with their neighbors' empty jars. Then the woman shut the door, and she began to pour oil from her jar into the first borrowed jar. The oil kept flowing, and soon that first jar was full. And she poured into the next jar, and she poured into the jar after that. And she kept going and going, and soon she lost count. She just kept pouring until all the jars were full. Bring me another jar," she said. "There aren't any more jars, mother," her boys exclaimed. "You filled them all." The woman's eyes sparkled. She hurried out of the house and ran to find Elisha. "I did exactly what you said. I borrowed as many empty jars as I could, and now they're all filled with oil, and I still have oil in my jar." Elisha smiled. "Go and sell the oil," he said. "Pay back what your husband owed." And you will have money left over for you and your sons to live on. The widow woman praised the Lord for the miracle of the oil. She thanked God for taking care of her, and she thanked Him for Elisha and her neighbors. That day, the widow and her sons learned that they could trust the Lord to take care of them. We can trust God to send the right people to take care of us too. Boys and girls, God wants us to be good neighbors as well. How can you be a good neighbor, and how can you help others today? This podcast was brought to you by Studio Alpizo and GraceLink dot net. For more children's resources, please visit GraceLink dot net.